concrete. We are tearing down the version of God who is a statue, who only spoke once and had it carved into stone to establish the permanent order of our concrete world. Stone gods are idols, not because a book decreed it, but because God is not static. She never stops mating with us and germinating seeds and making our hearts stop with new depths of glory. She has too much poetry left to paint on our, our bodies. She wants our toes crusted over in mud. She wants us sweaty and spent and yet newly thirsty. She doesn't sit in stuffy rooms with men who have been wrapped so tightly in cellophane that their only utterance is to clear their throat several hundred times a day. She waits in the woods for me. She dances in between the leaves and makes every pond ripple and glimmer with fairy glow. I used to think she was trapped inside other people's words and she needed my arguments to set her free from the concrete constantly being poured onto her feet. But then I recalled the way that trees scoff at our sidewalks. They will make love to the earth, even if our concrete order crumbles as they splay their legs majestically about and spew their seeds into our carefully planned landscaping. That is how she reigns. That is how she shares her secrets with those who are done with the concrete. She is making a new garden and all the permanence of our old world will soon be inconsequential footrests in a living room that is filled with leaves and twigs and dirt and seeds of every possible form of love.